Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been discussing about metathesis reaction in the past two lectures and in this context we have been looking at mechanism of this metathesis reaction. What we had observed is that several probable candidates were proposed to explain the metathesis reaction and then uh, and several of them was proposed unsuccessfully till uh, the final mechanism as proposed by Chauvin uh, uh, emerged uh, to be uh, the accurate one. Now in this regard in the last uh, class we have spoken about pairwise mechanism in, uh, in pairwise mechanism what is said that two olefins gets paired up in presence of metal to give some kind of uh, paired intermediate with the metal in it and that uh, sort of uh, results in obtaining the uh, metathesis with uh, different uh, olefins. So for example, the one that is shown over here uh, are what we saw that uh, the olefin uh, of this type uh, they uh, get paired up uh, in this pairwise mechanism through some uh, metal templated uh, intermediate and then finally the metathesis happens and then uh, results in two different kind of uh, olefin uh, and this is uh, sort of uh, uh, what was called uh, pairwise mechanism and the other uh, mechanism uh, which uh, uh, was uh, came out turned out to be correct uh, is this non pairwise mechanism in which one olefin uh, uh, reacts uh, with a metal carbene species this is the active species metal carbene species to give an intermediate metal cyclobutane intermediate and that uh, sort of results uh, into the corresponding carbene plus uh, the uh, olefin uh, which is the metathesis product. So what we saw over here in the pairwise mechanism is that uh, uh, there is one active species generating uh, or converting to another uh, active species as a uh, course of metathesis reaction and simultaneously one kind of olefin uh, uh, giving uh, to another kind of olefinic species. So uh, this uh, is uh, the accepted mechanism and uh, in this context uh, we have uh, discussed uh, uh, the various famous names starting from Calderon. Petit as well as Grubbs who had uh, proposed pairwise uh, mechanisms uh, uh, and which unfortunately uh, did not turn out to be correct uh, uh, followed by uh, Chauvin uh, uh, the French uh, scientist uh, uh, 
uh, who had actually uh, 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 proposed the correct mechanism, uh, the one uh, non pairwise mechanism that we have just discussed right now. Now, in these uh, uh, case, we have also uh, seen uh, that various kinds of uh, intermediates uh, being proposed to be the intermediate through which metathesis uh, reaction occurs and uh, uh, the uh, start from being uh, uh, cyclobutane butane uh, bound to metal metal uh, 2 tetramethylene uh, uh, cyclobutane uh, 2 uh, rearranging metallocyclopentane pentane to finally uh, uh, this metallocyclobutane uh, uh, which uh, is uh, the one uh, uh, which is shown over here and the one uh, which uh, is the correct one. So, uh, you know, these uh, sort of uh, gives, uh, provides a glimpse of uh, the intensity uh, uh, of research which was undertaken in order to uh, uh, explain uh, this uh, metathesis reaction particularly to understand how this complex reaction proceeded. Another thing uh, uh, which is uh, important in the mechanism non pairwise mechanism pro uh, proposed by Chauvin is the fact that uh, the active metal carbene species uh, many of uh, its kind are generated in the course of a metathesis reaction and as a result uh, this is more of a chain uh, 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 reaction where several metal uh, carbene type species uh, react with olefin to give the corresponding uh, metathesis uh, product. So, the reaction is also characterized by a chain uh, type reaction uh, uh, that take place during uh, uh, the uh, proceedings of this metathesis reaction. Now, now, while discussing the mechanism, uh, it is uh, uh, kind of incomplete if we do not uh, de, uh, talk about uh, the contribution of another great uh, scientist, Professor Tom uh, Thomas J. Katz or Professor Tom Katz of Columbia University, who actually uh, first gave the uh, proposed uh, proposition of metal carbene uh, being the active species uh, in the. Uh, uh, metal uh, uh, metathesis reaction. So, Professor Thomas J. Katz, Columbia University. Uh, and uh, 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 I am happy to say that I have been fortunate enough uh, to uh, uh, undertake uh, a course offered by Professor uh, 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 Thomas Katz when I was a student, uh, PhD student at uh, Columbia University and a good friend of mine, uh, he is a renowned professor now, was uh, a direct uh, 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 graduate student of Professor Katz when uh, of my class when uh, we, uh, we were doing. Uh, our PhD work. So, uh, the, uh, what uh, Katz uh, did is Katz sort of the first time explained the involvement of metal carbon uh, uh, interaction intermediate in metathesis reaction. carbene intermediate and uh, 
uh, uh, the cats uh, uh, through this, uh, uh, he confirmed this by uh, uh, proposing a correct, uh, correct uh, formation of product predicted correct metathesis products while using different olefins and uh, you know uh, this uh, is very nicely uh, uh, explained in this journal of amical chemical society paper Uh, 1972. So, what uh, uh, what is recognized to be of uh, CATS's contribution is the fact that CATS uh, uh, further substantiated and validated with experimental evidence uh, the mechanism which had been proposed uh, by uh, Chauvin uh, uh, that proceeded via the formation of uh, metallocyclobutane uh, intermediate. And the product is and what Katz had proposed is the fact that metal carbene complex is the catalytically active species. Uh, this uh, is uh, best uh, uh, described by the mechanism as is shown over here. This is the active species. reacting with the olefin just by simple coordination to give the olefin co uh, coordinated carbene species M CH2 bound to CHR that then undergoes this marketary insertion or formation of metallocyclobutane ring as is shown over here. and that leads to the formation of the metathesis product coordinated to metal with a different carbene uh, uh, moiety. So, with that uh, I mean that as the formation of another olefin is produced from this a different 
metal carbon active species is also uh, formed uh, as a result of that. Now, in presence of the second olefin, coming and replacing the metal coordinated olefin giving out RCH double bond CH2 and metal carbene species bound to CH2 CH2 that then undergoes this metathesis reaction to form the metallocyclobutane species as is shown over here. Which finally gives the metal carbene with the formation of the metathesis olefin. So, what we see is that the different kind of carbenes are formed as is shown over here and similarly different olefins are formed as is seen over here. And they start uh, uh, from two reacting olefins uh, which is uh, this one as well as uh, this one. So, uh, this uh, is uh, mm, uh, uh, what uh, Katz uh, had proposed uh, as opposed to be the intermediate for metathesis uh, uh, reactions with metal carbene being the uh, 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 active species for metathesis reaction. So, the name of uh, uh, CATS uh, uh, discussion on CATS is done in the same breath with uh, uh, that of uh, uh, Chauvin, uh, Grubbs, uh, Petit uh, and Calderon because uh, it is he who validated uh, uh, the first mechanism uh, through more experiments uh, of uh, Chauvin and that is why CATS uh, name is also taken in the same breath. Uh, as uh, 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 all of the previous three uh, researchers. Now, in this uh, uh, context it is important uh, to uh, uh, mention a bit about carbene complexes mainly uh, with regard to uh, Fischer carbene and Schrock carbene because uh, those comp uh, complexes uh, containing metal carbon double multiple bonds, uh, double bonds in general were synthesized uh, uh, at that point of time and uh, was an important breakthrough in terms of stabilizes, stabilizing metal ligand uh, uh, double uh, bond or multiple bond. To have some discussion on these metal carbene uh, complexes to see how that uh, the development or discovery of this at that point of time how it helped uh, elucidate uh, metathesis uh, reaction as done uh, rightfully uh, by Chauvin. So, uh, these carbene complexes uh, are compounds uh, with metal carbon double bonds and usually it is uh, donated by AMC carbene. Uh, with uh, the first uh, 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 bond uh, being a sigma bond and the second one uh, being a pi and uh, uh, the usually uh, uh, that is a possibility where uh, one is a sigma bond another is a pi bond. And now there is uh, a discussion and debate as to uh, to what extent uh, uh, the uh, is the pi, uh, pi bond occurring 
in order uh, uh, to stabilize uh, this metal carbon moiety. Now, this is an open debate and also uh, the other uh, important thing is that uh, uh, how, uh, where, what kind of bonds are these uh, sigma and pi bonds are, are and in terms, uh, in the types, uh, in terms of discussion on the types of bonds that sigma and pi are, uh, the discussion is around whether they are dative bond or they are uh, 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 covalent bond. And what we uh, will see that uh, both types of carbene, uh, carbenes where uh, metal uh, and carbon are bound by uh, dative bonds, one dative sigma bond, another dative pi bond uh, is also possible. This is uh, covalent bond involving shear effect electron between one sigma covalent bond and one uh, sigma pi bond between metal and carbon moiety that is also possible. So, what is interesting to note is the two types of carbene mainly Fischer carbene and this is uh, sort of the carbene which consists of two types of uh, 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 dative bonds. which is ligand to carbene to metal sigma bond and metal to carbene pi dative bond. So, they are both uh, dative bonds, uh, they are characteristics of Fischer carbenes and in such case uh, the central uh, metal is in a low oxidation state. and have another characteristic of Fischer carbene to attain that state uh, is that they have heteroatoms at the carbon carbon atom. And uh, uh, as uh, just mentioned earlier uh, that uh, uh, there are also metal carbene moieties where both the bonds between metal and carbene both the sigma and the uh, pi bond existing between metal and carbene can be uh, a, a covalent bond X type covalent bond uh, and these are more common in stroke carbenes. And these are more uh, X type uh, covalent bond and not a, a, a dative bond and involves sharing of uh, uh, electrons from the metal and the carbon sides and these uh, are more common for uh, uh, complexes where central metal is in a high oxidation state and have carbon or hydrogen substituents at the carbene carbon atom. And another thing uh, uh, to note here is that uh, uh, if there is no heteroatom bioelectric to uh, carbene it is also called alkylidin complex. So, uh, uh, these are two types of uh, carbene uh, uh, which are uh, 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 synthesized in which uh, the first one is Fischer carbene that involves dative bond uh, existing between metal carbon sigma bond as well as uh, uh, me, uh, metal carbon pi bond and the then comes rock carbene which is involves covalent, uh, covalent uh, metal carbon sigma bond and metal carbon pi bond. Uh, furthermore, these two carbenes are characterized, characterized by uh, uh, the uh, 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 the, uh, 
the state uh, of the carbene itself. So, fissure carbene uh, the carbene moiety is in a singlet state whereas, uh, the for car, uh, shrug car, uh, carbene uh, uh, the carbene moiety is in a triplet state and that uh, explains the formation of covalent bond uh, uh, in shrug carbene whereas, singlet state explains the formation of dative bond in the fissure carbene. So, with this what we saw uh, is uh, a nice convergence of uh, several discoveries particularly uh, the isolation of metal uh, carbene uh, uh, moieties containing metal carbene bonds uh, and they uh, being uh, put in the picture as active species for the metathesis reaction as uh, initially proposed by Chauvin and later on substantiated by beautiful work of cats uh, uh, through which uh, uh, who really showed and predicted correct product formation using uh, uh, the metal carbene intermediate uh, uh, in explaining the olefin metathesis reaction. So, with this we come to conclusion of today's lecture where uh, we sort of uh, looked into uh, uh, the postulates uh, made by uh, Professor Tom Katz uh, uh, in help uh, corroborating uh, and validating the original uh, mechanism proposed by Shawing, and this uh, Katz uh, mm, uh, did that by correctly predicted uh, the uh, uh, metathesis product uh, in, uh, uh, by judiciously using different carbenes, and these all were done uh, uh, using. Uh, 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 metal carbene intermediates and also supported the fact, fact that due in the course of a metathesis reaction many active species carbene type active species are formed which also uh, take up uh, another olefin and proceed to carry on uh, metathesis in a chain fashion. In the course of this today's lecture we have also looked at uh, these active species metal carbene bonds and what we saw that there are two types of carbenes that have been stabilized particularly the fissure carbene uh, which uh, has carbon to metal sigma dative bond as well as metal to carbene uh, uh, sigma uh, uh, pi dative bond whereas, shrug carbene which contains both uh, metal carbon sigma and pi uh, uh, covalent bonds. Uh, in fissure carbene what we saw the central metal is in a low oxidation state as a result of binding of singlet carbene uh, and have a heteroatom stabilization of the carbonic carbon whereas, shrug carbene uh, has a central metal atom in a higher oxidation state and there is no heteroatom on the carbonic carbon it is usually carbon and hydrogen. Uh, so, with this uh, uh, I conclude uh, today's discussion on the uh, role of uh, cats uh, in explaining the olefin metathesis reaction. We are going to be taking up uh, olefin metathesis in bit more detail when we uh, take up this course apart from mechanism in look, trying to look at uh, different types of reactions that are possible when we meet for the next uh, lecture. Till then uh, goodbye and thank you.